महबूब दे देखने कारण All right, guys, this will be unedited, uncut, just a straight rant. This is bullshit. This is unacceptable. Vondahar, Treyarch, Call of Duty, whatever you want to call them, Activision, completely has just spat in the face of the consumer. And I'm tired of people defending these guys. Honestly, David Vondahar and Church alone are the biggest money-hungry bullshit, the COD developers ever in Call of Duty. Black Ops 3, the supply drop system, COD point system is the worst, biggest rip-offs, highest goddamn probability you ain't gonna get nothing from a supply drop for the most amount of money spent ever in Call of Duty history. And quite frankly, this recent patch, this recent update, our boy, even Prestigious Key, I want to say before I even forget, God bless him. Thank you so much, Prestigious Key. Even did a video dropping F-bombs going nuts as well, shitting on Vondahar and Treyarch because, like I said, they spat in the face of the consumer. And what happened, my friends, is first of all, they added gun variants to the game. Big surprise, gun variants are back in the game. They're 20 bucks, by the way, as well. And here's the even bigger ripoff. They repackaged and resold back to us now as DLC, as gun variants to be purchased for 20 bucks that was already available. For example, the handgun that is available now as a god as a variant rather was supposed to be only available to those that pre-ordered the game at GameStop sort of like an initiative or rather some kind of way that make people want to buy the game you're like well hey I'll pre-order I get access to one of the only guns in the game like this it's kind of cool kind of special nope hey too bad so sad it's now available for everybody for 20 bucks mind you for a couple ugly skins and the gun and on top of that the Maddox uh, the variant that they have here now actually was available for everybody to play for four or five days back a little while ago and then all of a sudden now they took it out of the game uh and then now reselling it as a cod points dlc gun variant for twenty dollars two thousand cod points so didn't take long for gun variants to get back in the game purchasable mind you as well at least that's better not in supply draws you gotta pay 20 bucks but the fact that the first two that they make available were actually already given to people under special circumstances and to everyone else for free so pretty much they are just reselling something that shouldn't have been resold they're so lazy and so stupid that they can't bother to make new gun variants they sell one that people pre-ordered uh, with, you know, they understand that, hey, I will have the only access to this gun. It's kind of like cool. Hey, man, if I repurchase this gun or purchase game rather ahead of time at GameStop, hey, well, one of the, you know, things that need is I get to have the gun. Nope, sorry, everyone gets to have it now. Too bad, so sad. Bam, dabbling the haters. David Vondahar rides off in the sunset on a stupid motorcycle, cash and checks. Thank you very much. And also the Maddox, which was available for four or five days, was taken away and then now brought back and you got to buy it. Like, talk about some absolute and utter horse shit, man. And on top of that, ladies and gentlemen, another thing, another pet peeve here, because you know, I'm trying to cut this quick, trying to get it snappy, no editing, is that they have done some patches today as well, which were the exact opposite of what everyone was asking, which is, you know what they did? Hey, let's instead of buffing the kill streaks, score streaks, whatever you want to call them, like everybody else was asking to do, let's instead, uh, in fact, nerf them. Yes, my friends, they nerfed the kill streaks, and by nerfing them, they made them even more difficult to obtain. So, hey, just for an example, the Hellstorm missile. Guess how many kills in Team Deathmatch now you're going to need to be able to get that. Guess how many? Guess. This, 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 this just blows my mind. Ten. Ten kills to obtain a Hellstorm missile. They also got the Chopper Gunner. Bump that up an extra kill. So now you need over 12 kills to get a Chopper Gunner. Not even Chopper Gunner, sorry. An attack helicopter. An attack, not even, it's not Chopper Gunner. I don't even want to talk about that. They don't even have any good kill tricks in the game. No, an attack helicopter, which pretty much can be shot down by double FMJ Titans before they even enter the map. Everybody's got launchers as well to offset the stupid torque specialist. So hey, everybody, you know, call an attack helicopter. Doop -doop 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 boom, boom, it's blown up and gone. Took you 12 kills to get that. Took some kid 30 seconds and a couple button presses to bring it all down. Not even 30 seconds. Let's actually talk about that. Probably about 20 seconds. Also, just to let you know as well, the strike team, if you have FMJ on there, double FMJ and the uh, Titan, you can shoot down the strike team helicopter that's supposed to come and drop the actual paratroopers into the map before they even enter the map. But you know what? They also, you know, I'm not even done there yet. I'm done there. They nerfed the amount of points you get for each kill from a kill streak from 25 down to 10. They knocked it down 60%. So pretty much they did the exact opposite of what the most of the community wanted to be done, which was buff the score streaks. No, we nerfed them. Every single Call of Duty, if you've played Call of Duty for longer than one year, every single Call of Duty, the most fun Call of Duty, this is an absolute without standing fact that cannot be even argued. The best Call of Duties, the most fun Call of Duties had all one thing in common, my friends, and that is exciting, high-end, high-powered killstreaks. Every single boring Call of Duty, every Call of Duty that just ended up going and flattening out, 
all had these underpowered, underwhelming, crap-ass kill streaks. What does Black Ops 4 have now? They have some of the worst kill streaks, if not the uh, the worst kill streaks in Call of Duty, especially now since they nerfed them. So they 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 nerfed it. You have to get ten kills, ten kills for the freaking uh, Hellstorm, twelve kills for the freaking attack helicopter. I don't know. This is an unedited video. There's other ones they nerfed as well, or yeah, nerfed. So it doesn't even matter. Then let's just go back again to the gun variants. They're, 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 this Treyarch team and David Von Der Haar, I mean, just talk about get a life, man. Get a clue, you morons. You don't even, seriously, anybody out here defending these guys? Oh, you know what? It's not. Oh, my God, it's not. You know what, buddy? It's Activision's fault. Oh, yeah. So I guess it's, uh, you know, Infinity Ward out there who made Infinite Warfare, who had amazing supply drop in the salvage and had all those guns and stuff that you actually could earn throughout the game and were not locked behind a paywall. I guess, you know what? Activision didn't make them do that. No. Cut the excuses. Cut the nonsense. How about, oh, yeah, COD World War II. Their uh, supply drop system was actually really good. I mean, it's not, it's, it's, it's the best we're going to deal with. Not having it all would be the best. But what we're getting is is the point is that Activision didn't force them to do that. They they had some great things, but all of a sudden Treyarch comes out here, and all of a sudden Activision is forcing their hands, making them do all these dirty deeds and being the biggest sellout, rip off, cod points, supply drop, gun variant scam artist in the history of any Call of Duty developer. It's all Activision's fault. But the other developers, they don't do what they uh, Treyarch does, but apparently Activision doesn't force them. Now I ain't buying that BS, boys. Eat shit and die, Vondahar. Eat shit and die, Treyarch. This is a joke. This patch sucks. These variants are a spit in the face of all your consumers. Quite frankly, you know what, man? I'm, I'm, I feel like a, such a sucker. I feel like such a loser that I bought this game. I mean, what else are you going to do? Someone said, like, what else are you going to do? Play ba Battlefield Agenda 5 or uh, whatever? No, I'm not playing Battlefield 5. What, are you going to play freaking Fortnite? No, hell, I... So, you know what? It's like... Oh, these guys know that they're pretty much the only ticket in town right now. And they just, they just, Vondahar, Treyarch, they just like to stick a fucking fist up your ass. I mean, but I sure as hell hate your guts, Vondahar, quite frankly. I think you're a little slimy, little douchebag, two-handed slap back. Oh, yeah, guys, I just build the shoes. Oh, yeah, you're a scumbag. Screw you, Treyarch. You're a scumbag developer. Vondahar's little weasel. Ah. I love Call of Duty. Subscribe for more Call of Duty videos, boys. I gotta go. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Eight Thoughts. Last but not least, if you're new here too, don't forget subscribe. Stay black. Most importantly, don't the hunt cracker up till you shapeshift to building moon base, harp the spraying chemtrails. Not living inside Josh Ghoul Tower, selling that behemoth gorgeous elders, flat moon, fake elders, knows the bill, like the floors, turn the fire, white man, bring it down. Hold up. <laughs>